Hi folks, Fuzz here, welcome back to week mode of Zodiac Age and today we're going to be hopefully trying to take down the Wyvern Lord, a level 18, 19,000 hit points enemy. So how's this going to work out? I've no idea, but let's get on with it. Right, so this uh, mark is quite a high level obviously if you're playing on weak mode as I am. And it's uh, a flying enemy so you don't want to be casting wind on it but it, you do want to be casting ranged attacks. So I'm going to be using Varn and Fran and they are going to be casting magic, in this case Aqua, although it's not particularly weak to Aqua. Uh, it just happens to be the spell that was set up from before. They are not. Uh, this one is not weak to anything except Earth which I don't have so that's why I'm just using any other magic apart from as I say wind. And then Bash is going to be attacking with the brand new weapon that we collected previously, the Arcturus, since it has a nice 46 attack power, and since it's a gun, it's fantastic for weak mode playthrough. Fran is also going to be casting Decoy on Bash, since he has a high health total, and hopefully that's going to keep him uh, nice and tanky, so that he can take the damage from the other party members. And then Vossler is also useful to have, he will be casting uh, telekinesis which he comes with by default so this is the area you want to come to in the Namienza Sansi just port over to the tomb of Wraith well if you're not there already it's the next area you'll cross basically and make your way up north and then you'll find the enemy in question the Wyvern Lord just off the cliff area so you're probably going to need a ranged attack to pull him and at level 18 he is quite hard obviously so you might just have to wait for him to move back into range before you can actually attack and we're doing 200 points of damage with Aqua. I can't quite see. With um, Oh, look at that. 2,300 damage with that weapon we've got. That's fantastic. I'm liking it. So this is why you want to use guns in weak mode. They're just so potent. So, so potent. Uh, I'm just checking that Franny's casting decoy. She should be. He must have it on. Yeah, he has. He just hasn't actually decoyed yet. So at 18,000 health, this 2,000 plus damage gun is really, really laying on the pony. I'm loving it. It took a bit of effort to get, but if you haven't got it, just check out my last video on how to get the uh, Alcart or whatever it's called. And I might just have to turn healing off on Bash so that he can solely focus on laying on the damage here. The more damage he does... The faster this guy goes down, it's that simple. There we go. Attack. And boing. Down he goes. So that fight would have been a lot harder without Bash's weapon. So machinists are going to be your main source of damage, obviously, which is why I'm going to have two of them. And there we have it. I'm going to go back now and hand in the quest. Okay, so the quest giver is located in the weapon shop. I didn't actually show you at the start of the video, did I? So I guess I can show you now. Just use the Moogle to port over from the oven save crystal. And we are going just a little bit down to the south here. I'm loving that new weapon. Yeah, I highly recommend that for weak mode. Get two if you can. Although that's uh, going to be a bit of a grind. But hey, I guess it's going to be worth it. I've only got one because I've only got one machinist at the moment, but we will have two once we've completed Wraith Wall. Yep, so quest done. Cheryl's happy. And he gives us our rewards. An elfin bow and a shell shield. Very nice indeed. Alright then folks, well that's it for me for today. So thanks for stopping by and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.